Okay, DeSantis has signed the HBC, or is it HB3? What the heck is it called? Let me see it back. Look it up, Ratch Bass. Nope, because I deleted it. Okay, it doesn't matter. He signed a bill, and it's called oh, HBC. Okay, and it should take effect in 2025. Um, there is right now an attempt to overthrow such a bill or overturn. What it is, is he is saying that parents, not parents, let me start all the way at the beginning. I think I do have it. Wait. HB3 is basically a bill that says your child cannot have a social media account until they hit a certain age. Um, let's see. There it is. Florida governor signs bill that bans children under 14 from having social media accounts. The bill does face legal challenges, says NBC News, who did fire Rona McDaniel. DeSantis previously vetoed a more restrictive bill that says that kids cannot have social media accounts under 16. That bill also requires Florida residents to submit an ID or other identifying material in order to join social media. So that was the one he vetoed, the one that says you needed an ID to even join social media or other identifying materials. So that one was vetoed. The one that he has says that you have to be 14 or 15. Now HB3, which is slated to take effect in January 2025, comes as efforts to regulate social media content or continue to ramp up across the U.S. amid concerns from parents that the platforms do not do enough to keep their children safe online. Okay, and that I can agree. In December, more than 200 organizations sent a letter urging state majority leader Chuck Schumer to schedule a vote on the Kid Online Safety Act, or the COSA, which seeks to create liability or duty of care for apps and online platforms that recommend content to minors that can negatively affect their mental health. So, Florida, Ron DeSantis has just signed such a bill that says your child cannot have a social media account unless they're 14 or 15. So, will this bill take effect January 2025, 2025 sorry, the way it's slated to? Will something come up? Let's see, there's the strength card and the tower card. So there's a loss of strength. I don't know if it changes dramatically by the time we get to January, but something within it changes. Um, oh. The High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. There's, there's just, it's not like opposition. Well, it is opposition, but it's, it's like it needs to be edited. And that's where these people are coming from. It's like, it just, we just don't like it the way it is. Um, the Two of Swords and the High Priestess, this is an indecision or trying to block something. The High Priestess is an agenda. Um, knowledge. So it's almost to say the reason they want this blocked or edited is because it's not just restrictive, it's, it's, it causes more damage than it does good, and it's not complete, it's not whole, it's not a thing that makes any sense, typically. Um, because you, if your child has social media accounts, and let's say they're 11, 
and that company refuses to delete that child's account, that child can sue for a thousand dollars or get a fine of a thousand dollars paid to them, to the child. And then the state will also find that company fifty thousand dollars for every day that the child's profile is not deleted. So it's just it's like it's a bunch of little things in there here with this two of swords and high priestess. Not that those are the things, but there's something else in there that needs to be changed from the way it is. Um, two of Pentacles, some balance issues, that's all. But I think it will. I mean, it ends in the Three of Swords, which is, again, separation. Could be separation from that medium, but it's there is something in it that needs to be changed, that needs to be balanced out. But we shall see.